So here's a tune that I composed called Mill Monster, which is a piece containing all the concepts and techniques that we've been studying so far. I hope you enjoy it. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at the intro to Mill Monster. We're starting with a slide into the fifth fret A string with our ring finger. And then our index finger is going to pluck the D string. Then our middle finger is going to fret the fourth fret A string. Index finger D string. So we got. And then our ring finger is going to fret the 5th fret A string and then so that's going to be like this and then we do a technique which I like to call catching the chord and that's when your thumb pick kind of strums up and then you catch the chord with your left hand and at the same time your thumb hits the low E string so it'll be Okay, so let's have a look at this intro. And I do that quite a lot. It's a big, authentic part of the Travis sound. All right then, so right after the intro, we're going into the theme of the song, okay? So I'll play the intro, we catch the chord, and then we play the theme. Okay, so let me break this down for you. I'm playing a G6 chord. And what I'm doing is, with my right hand, I'm combining pinching and skipping. So a pinch would be when the thumb and the index finger collide together. That's a pinch. And a skip is when the finger is offbeat to the thumb. Okay, so it's a combination of that. And then we go to D7. And with the D7, the melody is going like this. And how I'm achieving that is my index finger is going from the B string, third fret, fretted with my index finger. Then going up to the fourth fret on the B string. Then I play an open high E, and that's kind of clashing in with the E flat there. So, back to the fourth fret, B string. So together. And then I catch the chord again. Okay, so let's do the intro here. And that's that, really. Then the next part. Then we get to this D9 shape. And what I'm doing here, I'm getting the D9, and then my pinky finger is fret in the seventh fret high E string. So it's bouncing off from the seventh fret to the fifth fret high E string. Okay? Then back to the G. So 
So let me play that again. Okay, and then we get into the the famous Travis bend here, which is the dominant seventh bend, which we've studied in a previous concept. And then we get back to the turnaround concept. All right. Okay, let me explain the turnaround for you. I'm playing a giddy upper concept with my right hand, and I'm using the style of Mill Travis fingering. So I'm only going to be playing this concept with the thumb and index finger. Okay, so just to remind you again, it's going to be E, G, D, and then G. Okay, so that's the right hand technique. Now we're going to look at the left hand and study the chords again. So we're going to go C, C sharp diminished, G7 with the D on the bass, E7 with the B on the bass. Then we got this A sharp diminished, then a D7 with an A on the bass, and then back to G. Okay, so now let's apply the right hand and the left hand together. And I was playing it with my middle finger then, so let me play it with the index finger. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to play the first three notes and then an open G note. Okay, and that applies for all the chords. All right, so let's do it from the intro again. ending on a G6 there. All right then, so the next part is playing the E7 with the B note on the bass. And one thing I do when I get into this chord, I play the, the catching the chord technique while sliding into it. So it'll be... Can you hear that? Okay, so let me break down this section for you. I'll play it first. All right, so we're playing the E7. And the melody line is going E, B, E, B, E. And that's being played on my index finger while fretting the chord. Right, then we get to the A7 with the ninth in it. Same E, B, E, B, E. Okay, then we get to the D. Okay, so we go in. Again, the index finger is doing pretty much most of the fret in here. We go in from the B string third fret. B string, 4th fret, high E string, then back to this, okay, and then we play a G6 with the added 9, and I think that's the E, B, E, B, E again, alright, so let's do it. in the chord. All right. <laughs> 